good early morning to you all. So, final stretch. Here goes. This morning was a particularly early wake up for me because I had to take the bus at 6.15 to get back to the trail. I have quite a long day today, uh, about 30 kilometers, so I want to get an early start. And, um, and yeah, I started walking today basically at the time of sunrise, but you can't see it because today's weather is soggy and cloudy. Yeah, I'm on a very beautiful little forest road and uh, I'm wearing a bike light because I thought I'd, I'd be hiking in the dark this morning. So even though I'm finishing tomorrow, I'm hiking tomorrow, then this isn't really an overnight hike. It could be. It's very warm. It's like plus 10 Celsius at the moment. Uh, we did have some very cold nights, like proper winter nights uh, last week, but but now it's warm again. But even though it is warm, I don't think I like to be out camping completely alone. It's very dark. The season it's not like it's not like summer, and. Um, and yeah, tonight I'll have a roof over my head. I will be sleeping in my, you know, country house, which is not on trail, of course, but it's in the area, so I'll go there. And tomorrow I'll have, I think, about 20 kilometers to go. honest I had hoped I could hike without my rain stuff on because it just it's so warm and I feel so bulky with these rain clothes on but yeah still got a long way to go and don't want to be soaked and cold in the evening fence on the edge of this piece of forest here but since there's no uh, houses or old houses to see 
then I wonder what it was for. If it was the year 2011, I'd be able to tell you the species. But unfortunately it isn't. I don't remember anything. And Stonewall continues. It's really interesting. I'd like to know why it's here. And the trail is getting pretty wild and narrow and foresty. So I don't know what more you expect from a trail. Oh yeah. This is a place I recognize from someone else's video. I think this is a very good place. This is a very appropriate place to say some words. And my camera's... oh wait, no, that's the road. <laughs> so, I'd like to say a huge thank you to a YouTuber vlogger called Hiker in Estonia because if she had not started vlogging her journey on this trail, I would not be here today. And I remember this place in her video. She was here, I think this is the place, and was about to go uh, down that way into the dark forest where I've just come out of. And this is my first hike and I totally get it. It's okay to be scared of a dark forest. It's okay to not want to go in there alone. And all of this trail, it's had so many tough places and junctions you don't want to take and decisions you don't want to make and days that are like this, you know, it's raining when you thought you'd be here and the sun would be shining and it would all be much prettier. But it's all worth it. You can do these things. Uh, it is a brilliant way to get over your fears and uh, grow as a person. So thank you for encouraging us women to go out there to go out there alone and do things that we're not always expected to do. <sighs> so there, you go check out her videos because she's an awesome lady and there's no other way of saying it. But yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go that way now and continue on this nice little gravel road. <laughs> I don't know how much, how far my home is, but but yeah, <laughs> I know I have some dark forest of my own ahead of me and, and I feel ready to take it on. break for lunch feeling a bit better and yeah let's let's finish this day I gotta say hiking in this cold wet season I don't know how people do it with overnight hiking because the, the moment I sit down put my puffy on I don't want to move I don't want to go anywhere I don't want to do anything I just want to sit in the warm so yeah yeah I'm not very 
I'm, I'm quite a cold sensitive person so I guess overnight hiking isn't for me unless it's a very warm season. Some motorcycle travelers just passed me by and it looked like they had some packs on their bikes. You know, like tents and stuff like that. And they all waved at me in a very nice manner. So I bet they were not from this country. <laughs> That's cool. And we are by the sea. 